Hello to all you dear Scorpios. This is your monthly horoscope for April of 2020. This is a very general horoscope, so not tailor-made at all. If you really are interested in a personal reading, get in touch or find yourself a good astrologer when you want to have a bit more clearance and a bit more understanding of what's going on in your life. But meanwhile, these are general horoscopes, precise, concise, not too long, but with three things that I want to talk about in April. So first of all, the Venus retrograde, and it's actually not happening in April, but Venus in Gemini, let's put it that way. Second, it's a Uranian rite during the month of April. And third, I want to talk about Mars and Saturn in Aquarius. So first of all, Venus for such a long time in, Ge in the sign of Gemini. As from the 3rd of April up until the 7th of August, Venus is going to be in that sign. That is extremely long. Normally it's just like three or four weeks and now it's going to be in your Scorpionic house, in the eighth house for such a long time. This is your cup of tea, dear Scorpios. Having Venus in the eighth house is a bit like having Venus in Scorpio natally. And what, what does it mean? So during the month of April, it's going to be very fast for, forward going. Um, but already in the shadow period and then in May it goes backwards and then at the end of June it goes direct again. So what this means is that you will already see what this is going to be for you. There is going to be something that is going to be reassessed for you and that is what Venus is all about. It's about is this good, is this not so good, how can I improve it? So for all, um, and, and what is the eighth house? So the, for all Scorpios, there is this emphasis on the eighth house. And first of all, this is a financial house. And secondly, this is the house of intimacy and fears, but also strengths. So let's have a look at first a financial house. So when you see this often, when Venus is such a long time in the eighth house that people get inheritances, that people get a loan, that people get money from, from, um, from, that they didn't work for, so money from their spouse or something like that. And especially when Venus goes direct again. So that will only occur after the, the end of June, but the time before that is a preparation. It's a good time when you are married or when you are uh, living together with someone or a business partner to have a look at shared finances and how to improve your investments for instance or how to get a loan or how to um, improve that that financial situation very very good uh, energy for that because venus attracts so it attracts money from other people it also attracts val validation of other people so Scorpios are known that they are quite independent and that they don't need anyone else in their life, so to speak. I mean that they, they are who they are and they are very authentic. But with Venus through the eighth house for so long, they could be getting a lot of um, validation from other people. And not only financially, also emotionally, also that people really show their love in a, in a very deep way. And that's really, really good. Now, on a not financial level, this could mean intimacy. This could mean that there is something in your life that changes for the better, that you want more intimacy in your life. So this could first mean that you um, uh, are having a breakup, for instance. So for relationships where there is more minuses than pluses, yes, this could mean the end of a relationship with Venus going through the eighth house, the house of death, after all. But only when it's you know, showing a lot of other aspects in your chart. This is just one of them that can point towards that when you're really having a rough time with someone and when you really want the change yourself. Um, um, but on a, on a positive level, this could mean indeed more intimacy, more... Um, and with intimacy, I mean, it's it's like the sex and, and the soul and the mind all together. You know, that's what Scorpio wants. It, it doesn't want when it wants to uh, a relationship. It wants everything. 
it one's body mind and soul and there is a possibility to gain that to gain more intimacy as well so that's really your cup of tea here and also being psychologically intertwined with someone that's also venus in the eighth house on a negative level this is secrecy so you could be dealing with a relationship that you know i mean not not saying this in a judgmental way at all but that you could be having a secret relationship and there is you know this reassessment that you're doing and what to do with it and what to do about it and um, so that could be the case as well or someone that is you know not available or uh, that you are dealing with or you ha are having uh, you are married or having a relationship with someone else this also often happens with Venus being so long in your eighth house but mostly and foremostly on a positive level, and this is when Venus goes retrograde, mostly it gives positive results after the going direct again. That will be shown only around the end of June. So, um, but what it's gonna be for you, you will see it already happening around the first week even of, um, of April, because then Venus already goes in the shadow period. So you will already know what I'm talking about, one of these items there. But also a love for the occult, a love for the met metaphysical side of life. You know, the eighth house is everything that has to do with the occult, hidden knowledge, and Venus means love. So a love for hidden knowledge. Um, you could learn and study these things or pick it up again as it goes retrograde. So very Scorpionic month for sure. Very much things happening behind the scenes. People will not know what's going on with you on a love level, but everything happens here uh, behind the scenes. And then we've got this asset, a bit of a Uranus ride. So because Uranus is a plan an outer planet, that gets quite a lot of um, transits with other personal planets uh, during this month and you've got Uranus in your relationship house and it's going to be a new moon there around the 23rd of the month you're gonna have the moon and Venus uh, and the Sun sorry together with Uranus so when you are single this could mean all of a sudden because that's Uranus all of a sudden a new relationship or again when your relationship would be extremely bad and and you've been thinking about this for a long time all of a sudden you say enough there could mean as well and especially a bit more for some Scorpios there who are having some rough times with their spouses or girlfriends or boyfriends because it's a combination of this new moon and the Venus in the eighth house so but again don't be scared, you know, you are the Scorpio, you know what's happening with your life, right? Then this uh, Uranus um, in your seventh house also clashes, especially the beginning of the, let's say the first week of the month with Mars and Saturn in your fourth house. So that could mean that there is some struggling energy going on between your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, um, or even a business partner um, with home. So there is some out of balance energy when it comes to you you were maybe you're working hard at home and and you know your your lover doesn't like that um or there is a lot of activity at home and that stresses you out in the relationship something like that but it's only the first week of the month so it's temporary and uh, it has to do with bringing balance again in your home life but also in the relate in a, in a significant relationship now mars and saturn in your fourth house really means a lot of focus on fourth house issues which could be home your home environment which could also if you think about working from home this could be the beginning here um, it could also mean that there is quite some stress at home that things that you need to do you know Saturn is doing step by step by step but if you continue and persevere this will ultimately have good results in the long run because Saturn is going to be there for a long long time so on an emotional level though having Mars and Saturn there you're not really 100% fulfilled because the fourth house has to do with the moon has to do with feeling comfortable and mars and saturn is like you know making this a bit more that you have to work a bit harder at home whether it is the environment whether it is your furniture that you're gonna change whether it is literally work that you're taking from 
work to your home. But on an emotional level, it's not the most ideal, but there are other things happening for you that are uh, pretty good when it comes to, um, how would I say, when it comes to your fate for the future. So um, thank, that is what it is for this month for you, Scorpios. It's not the most important month for you, but it's kind of your cup of tea. I wish you all the best with that. Thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned. Bye-bye.